If you were to take a look at my notebooks from when I was in school, you would see a completely indecipherable mess. Loads of other kids in my class were able to take these beautifully structured, colour-coded notes. I spent most of my time sketching or drawing weird diagrams while I was listening to the teacher because it was the only way that I could really process the information that was coming my way. The big problem was when I came to prepare for an exam or write an essay, the notes were completely all over the place and I had no way of really synthesizing all of that knowledge into something that actually made sense. If that sounds at all familiar, I think you're gonna love today's video sponsor, Scrintle. Scrintle is a highly fluid web app that acts as a knowledge system for visual thinkers. It combines elements of data-based note-taking systems like Notion or Roam Research with project management tools like Miro or Freeform to create the perfect mind mapping tool. In fact, it's a tool that can be applied to lots of different scenarios for individuals or teams. And for a chaotic thinker like me, what it allows me to do is just dump my brain's contents onto one web page and pinpoint relationships between different ideas that I hadn't previously considered but could actually lead to something great. To demonstrate just how good Scrintle is for mind mapping though, I drew some inspiration from one of the most creative thinkers of our modern times, Walt Disney who created one of the most famous mind maps of all time when he was planning the future of his Walt Disney company. And even just putting this together as a mini research piece, I learned so much about Disney along the way. If Walt Disney were to open up Scrintle, he'd find the perfect place to plot out his mind map for what would become one of the most successful entertainment companies the world has ever seen. Since he's not around today, I've gone ahead and made it for him. The first thing you see when you have this overview of the Disney empire is just how complex and interconnected all the different sections are. Right at the heart of this mind map, we have theatrical releases, which we all know are the backbone of the Disney empire. And you can just see how many strands are interconnected with Disney's theatrical releases. For any bit of an example of what we're talking about here, we can click in and see a film poster for Finding Nemo. Now, as you can see, those link cards have also been referred to here in the body copy of this particular card. If I actually click on that, I'll get a pop out and I can see an example of the kind of merchandise that has come out of one of its IP. Zoom back out for a minute, you can see how all of these different cards are connected by just hovering over the mind map. And then if you wanna see any individual card and how it links to other areas, you can then click on that too and it will highlight those threads. One big area of focus that Walt Disney highlighted all those years ago was music. If we click into the music card here, we can see an example of how music makes money for Disney even today through things like sales of original soundtracks, streaming services, and even adaptations for musicals, which now become a brand new card in the Disney empire. One thing that springs to mind as I'm looking at this mind map is that the picture for music is not quite complete because Disney has started opening Disney cruise ships. So if I wanna create a brand new card for Disney cruises, then all I have to do is click over here on the plus sign and add a card. And then I can just drop it wherever I like. And the first thing I can actually do is just drag over this pointer to musicals. And there we go, it's already connected to musicals. I may as well just connect it to Disneyland as well because I kind of see it as an extension of Disney's theme park. All I need to do is add a title. Pretty easy if you can spell cruise. There are tons of elements that I can throw into this card. And if I press slash, I'll see some of those options here. So I can upload an image, I can even upload a PDF, can add things like tweets or embedded YouTube videos. And of course, I have some sort of basic text editing that I can add in here as well, like H1 tags uh, for headings, as well as quotes, bullet lists, and ordered lists. And with this, I can actually go really all out and basically write an entire blog article or research piece. And it's really powerful to have that contained within this mind map. One of the things that really sets Scrintable apart from apps like Miro is that on those apps, you're kind of limited to almost like post-it note style note taking. Whereas here you can actually build your entire content system within this mind map.
Now, Scrintle is not quite the finished product, and because it's a web app, you do run into some issues from time to time. For me, apps like this really come into their own when you can capture ideas as you have them, rather than waiting until you've got a secure internet connection to actually get them onto a page. This is something that Notion does brilliantly because of how well it works across your phone, iPad, or computer. Scrintle is almost too expansive to actually work on an iPhone screen at the moment. So if I do have ideas in the moment, they do end up going into either my notes app or to Notion. You can import Markdown from Notion into a Scrintle board. So that could get around some of those issues, but I do really hope that they build in a bit more functionality for mobile phones going forward. One of the cool things is that they are really transparent about their roadmap. And so I know that an offline mode is something they're working on as we speak. And I think that will be a huge upgrade when it does eventually drop because it means you'll be able to carry on working on your Scrintle board when you're on a train or somewhere else that doesn't have a great internet connection. All in all though, I'm really excited about the future of Scrintle. It seems like they've got a brilliant team behind them who are open to feedback and they've been kind enough to offer you a 20% discount if you follow the link in my description. That should take you to the code intentional20 and it's valid for four weeks from the publication of this video. For more productive tech tips, then watch this video next and I'll see you in a bit.